Friday nights, under the lights, Gridiron Glory awaits those who can outlast and endure a season unlike any other. First and Ten starts now. Sponsored by Albertsons. All right, hi, hello, and welcome in to the Week 8 edition of First and Ten. I'm George Faust. And I'm Madeline Adams. The teams are starting to position themselves for the playoffs, George. <laughs> and Madeline, you were at our game of the week. And before we get there, obviously we are wearing the, the jerseys of our alma maters. Yes. They play each other, obviously, so we decided to have a little fun with it. So that's why I'm in Ole Miss. And she is an LSU Tiger. And so. you can watch that game tomorrow at 2.30 on KLFY. But for right now, we have our game High of the week. Football. Huge District 3-5A matchup. Lafayette hosting Southside. Two great defensive teams squaring off. And speaking of, Simon Richmond and a host of Lions with the tackle for loss there. But the Sharks eventually find pay dirt on this drive. Landon Baptiste hands off to Vernell Joseph in for the touchdown. Southside takes the 7 nothing lead. A couple of drives later for the Sharks, and Baptiste drops back and goes deep, but is picked off by Seth Jones. But Southside holds the Lions scoreless there on that drive. Second quarter action, it's Joseph again punching it in. And then Kenneth King, a fitting name, extends the lead 21 0. Sharks, Southside rolls on to win 35 to 16. All right, so Lafayette High and Southside playing in a tight game. Uh, yep. Uh, we expect it to be, but I guess the, the, the Sharks were. Uh, just a little bit better? Yeah, well, you know, they were number two and number three in district rankings. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, Katiana has that number one spot in the district. But yeah, a battle and, and Southside's defense, uh, you know, a huge game for them as well as Vernell Joseph and, and uh, the run game for Southside. Really, really effective tonight. So Southside gets a huge win uh, over a district rival there. All right, on, the, on to the Vikings and STM taking on. North side from the Vikings ship, if you will. First possession, it's Devon Quaylen Portalis. Passing is his pass is picked off here by Tyler Collins, and Collins takes it all the way down the field and is thinking six, but stops short of the goal line. The Cougars able to capitalize off the turnover with a short pass from Sam Altman to Baron Sawyer for the touchdown, putting the Cougars up, and STM wins 51. 14, your final. Scarecrow hosting New Orleans powerhouse brother Martin. First quarter, quarterback Chance Caesar went down with an injury, so Davion Francis takes over, gets the Bears in field goal range, but no good there. 14 nothing Crusaders at half. Then right after in the third, Garrett hands off to Tory Lambert there, and he's in for the touchdown. 21 nothing brother Martin. Jordan Thomas would follow up with this tutty and a tough <laughs> night for the Bears. They fall 35 to six, the final. Madeline's new favorite word is tutty. Over at <laughs> Turling's Rebel Field, Turling's hosting Westgate. Westgate turned the Rebels away inside the five, then took over. But despite that nice run there from Westgate's Jordan Doucette, the Tigers couldn't get anything going there. Brennan Landry at quarterback here is sacked by Connor Klein Peter. So the Turling's Rebels take over and run tempo in the second quarter. Under three minutes in the half, Preston Welsh finds Kate Roban. For the touchdown, 9 nothing Rebels on top of the ensuing kickoff. Westgate goes 95 yards to the score. 9-7 after that, Derek Williams. Congratulations on your run. 27-16 to is the last score we have for you. The final score, 33-26. That is actually the last score we have for you. All right, the ERAS Bobcats taking on St. Martinville. The Bobcats on offense, and it will be Karan Jean Luis who strips the ball, and the Tigers come up with the fumble here. The Tigers' offense then begins to roll. It's Kyron LeBlanc who takes it down the field here, and he takes defenders with him for a nice gain, setting up the Tigers in the red zone. Same drive, it's the quarterback Tanner Harrison. He would keep it on the quarterback keeper, gets into the end zone for the touchdown. The final in this one. 29 to 59, St. Martinville with the big win. Lagrange visiting Rain tonight. Gators ball. The Wolves, Gannon Venable, there for a huge tackle, putting, well, the Rain Wolves putting some numbers up tonight. How about Lance Smith for the Wolves with uh, picking this one up and, uh, well, he's going into the end zone. That's a touchdown. The Wolves are taking home a big win by the final of 61. 26 quarterback Dylan Judice with two touchdown passes. 
in that contest. All right, how about Cecilia taking on Opelousas? First play for the Bulldogs here. First play of this drive for the Bulldogs. Diesel Solari dumps it off to Ridge Collins. He takes it down into the red zone. And then a couple plays later on fourth down, Diesel Solari keeps it, but is short of the touchdown. So first play for the Tigers here. Javon Gibson passes it to Corey Fontenot. But uh, the hit here jars the ball out Ooh. and is recovered by the Bulldogs defense. So uh, here we have a final score. Cecilia wins 23 to nothing. All right, how about the Pioneers of Notre Dame on the road taking on Catholic High in New Iberia? Pioneers rolling with the running game. Junior Jake Brulette taking it around the left side, down the field for a nice game there. Later in the quarterback, Nick Swacker is the quarterback. And Swack finds his receiver, Zachary Lamb, and takes the defender with him to reach the goal line for the touchdown. Another great outside run this time by the Pioneers. It's Thomas Mesh for the big game. The Panthers couldn't get anything going on offense, and well, they had a disappointing night as the Pioneers win big in this one, 41 to nothing. So there you have it. The, that's usually a good contest, the Catholic High yeah. Notre Dame game, and uh, I guess. Uh, when, when you look at it, just uh, kind of things got off to a, a fast start for Notre Dame and Catholic was unable to sustain, I guess. Yeah, we've kind of found a theme every week. You know, I feel yeah. like this week it's defense and the run game. So we'll see what uh, the rest of the show has for us. Coming up, <laughs> the Hornets and the Blue Gators compete on the gridiron tonight. Who was victorious? Well, you'll find out after the break. All right, but first it's time for our weekly musical interlude. Newton Sports Karasi <laughs> Melvin is in studio with our Band of the Week. All right, guys, this week we'll be hearing from a band of Hornets. Here's a round of sound from the Franklin High School Band. <laughs> You're watching First and Ten, sponsored by Albertsons.